Hello there, people of the internet and all you Beach Boys fans and music fans in general. I am Tuomas and today I am here to discuss and give you my thoughts on the Beach Boys Surfing Safari album, which is the first studio album by this group and it was released on Capitol Records in 1962. Right here I have two issues of it. This one here I believe, if I remember correctly, is like an original release. From 62 it is pretty fragile, so I'm not gonna touch that one today. Uh, but I'm gonna have my greasy fingers on this one, because this is a reissue. And uh, this also included a bonus 7-inch promo single surfing slash luau, which actually I don't think this copy has, but let's check that out. Or does it? I'm, I don't remember. Let's... Whoa! It has it! I'm, I need to show this to you before we go... Oh yeah! Before we go into the album itself. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let's take it out. Promotional copy, not for sale. Wow. I'm not sure if I've ever really even listened to this. I need to listen to this. I've heard the songs, but I mean this particular single. So anyway, Surfing Safari. Uh, by the way, I'm doing reviews of every Beach Boys release pretty much. Uh, and uh, I'm doing them pretty much chronologically. I've just started with a archival release from their first uh, studio sessions. That was the video that I released before this one. I will be posting, if I remember, a playlist of all... Uh, a playlist that I will be updating uh, every time I make another Beach Boys review. So go and follow that one and follow this page or this uh, account as well. Subscribe, in other words, if you enjoy this content. So anyway, now do the album itself. Uh, this one is a very interesting album. It's not one of my favorites. It's one of my least favorite albums by this group and um, probably like my least listened of all of them. I listen even like M.I.U. album and uh, Still Cruising and Summer in Paradise. Oh yeah, more than this one. And I'm not even kidding. And that doesn't mean that this is a bad album or that Summer in Paradise is better than this one. And not by all means, but... Um, the thing with this is that this, is, this has like pretty good tunes. Like there's not a single stinker here. They all are like at least decent. And uh, I have a soft spot for Surfing Safari, the title track, of course, and also Little Girl, You're My Miss America, even though that's a cover, but that's the first Dennis Wilson lead vocal on a Beach Boys release, and uh, I think he sings really well on that one. It's so interesting to hear his early, young voice. It's very raspy and uh, still very <laughs> innocent sounding, so it's, it's very cute. And... Uh, <clears throat> And then I also like the instrumental things and their cover is Summertime Blues as well, but I was never like a huge fan of the tune Surfing uh, and Ten Little Indians, Connie Fair, Juggalog. Juggalog is pretty pretty funny, but Cuckoo Clock, uh, yeah, I mean, Heads You Win, Tails I Lose, these tracks are like... They're not bad, like I said, but, but it's they sound the same, more or less, you know. Uh, the group plays really well. This is all the Beach Boys. This is not uh, uh, this is not yet the wreck, Wrecking Crew stuff. I mean, if you're watching this video, you know this, so I'm not gonna go into detail that, but uh, into that. But it's just silly to me how even. Uh, these days, there's a lot of these uh, <clears throat> uh, myth myths uh, regarding the Beach Boys uh, that say keep saying uh, and legends that oh they never played on their all own albums and that's why they suck. It was all uh, the wreck Wrecking Crew and Brian doing his thing, but the Beach Boys suck. They couldn't even play, and that is just a really really wrong uh, judgment because each and one of 
each and one of them uh, were really uh, good players with their own instruments. And uh, even Mike with his voice, not saxophone, but Mike with uh, his uh, own voice as a backing uh, vocalist was ex exceptionally good. And even Mike can play uh, uh, keys and uh, guitar, at least on chord level. Uh, so, uh, and the rest of them are pretty much multi-instrumentalists. And Carl, one of the greatest guitar players of all time, uh, even David Marks and Al Jardine are really good with uh, guitar and uh, Al with bass as well. Brian with bass and keys and drums and Dennis with keys and uh, drums and car could play anything and at this point they all were really skillful with their own instruments already so anyway that was a quite a big ramble about a uh, <laughs> very uh, minor thing which has not that much to do with this album uh, it's a fun album it's not spiritual it's not heavy it's not um it doesn't have those heartfelt ballads that came up a little bit later uh, but it's a very nice experiment and it's pretty cohesive uh, because like I said it's not it's nothing great it's nothing bad it's pretty cohesive in its mediocre uh, decent qualities uh, the songs are mostly written by Brian and uh, Mike and also uh, by Gary Usher with Brian and, uh, and then there is a few uh, cover tunes uh, but um, this is a very pretty much like like the session over here this one 61 62 studio sessions by the Beach Boys uh, I'd put this one on the same page almost with that one uh, you hear the early Beach Boys sound over here, you hear the basic ingredients and you have a couple of really good tunes like Surfing Safari and uh, Little Girl, Your Mom is America and so on and obviously 409 is a classic as well. Uh, it's not one of my favorites but it's pretty, it's pretty cool and funny. Mm. And you can hear the Carl, uh, Carl Wilson, uh, Chuck Berry, Dick, Dick, uh, Dick, uh, Dick Dale type of uh, guitar playing uh, <clears throat> with the surf sound. It's cool, uh, but this is not a classic album really. Uh, I wouldn't spin this for somebody who wasn't a fan of the Beach Boys already really. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's cool. It's summer type of easygoing music. And you could most definitely uh, plug this in in some hamburg 50s styled hamburger uh, bar or something but uh, yeah I mean for some reason this just uh, is not one of the uh, most enjoyable listening experiences I think for me I'm not gonna give like any ra ratings or anything any points uh, because I think that's uh, not necessary uh, and that goes with all the rest of the reviews as well uh, it's a good album uh, and uh, I like the cover. The cover is classic, obviously. Uh, by the way, do this. Yeah, these have. I realized this right now. These actually have uh, different takes from the uh, photo shoot. And they also did the cover of their next album, Surfing USA, on the same day when they did this same photo shoot. So, anyway, uh, this is actually pretty cool picture there is a uh, Carl uh, at the place where David is over there Carl is hiding in the shades over there and David is there so anyway uh, classic cover cool picture and okay I will touch this this uh, I need to show the back cover also this is really cool I like the story over here which tells the story of the Beach Boys and there we have some photos of Brian even Mike is doing some <laughs> something with a is that a bass or a guitar? I don't know there's Denny is looking very cool and uh, them singing together and then there's David and Carl doing their guitar work actually there's 
call this with bass over there. Cool. So anyway, like, yeah, I mean, it's great, it's fun, it's cute, but it's nothing like... It's, it's pretty much like most of the groups or bands, whatever, uh, it goes the same way, kind of. Like the first album that they do might even suck, like, to be honest, like, you, you hear them at their starting point and then they get better as they go. And the same goes with the Beach Boys. Their starting point was pretty high already. They have their distinct uh, person, uh, uh, not personal, what's the word? Uh, distinct and uh, different sound, unique sound, uh, which uh, is very much different from uh, the other stuff that was going on at that time, even though it, it does have the same ingredients, the same type of guitar uh, and then the vocal jazzy harmony stuff. But uh, there is just something which I think comes from their genes and uh, from from their uh, family. You know, their, their, their vocal blend, as they say, is very unique and their, their voices uh, come together in a really uh, beautiful way that is pretty much impossible to mimic and uh, yeah I think that is all there already and uh, they all sound so young and uh, the, the lyrics in every tune are um, well they are what they are like they're not like uh, poetic masterpieces but like Surfing Safari for example the words are very uh, you know, they are nice. Uh, the the alternate uh, lyrics that were actually on, that you could hear on this one, uh, were kind of messy. I'm really glad that they did change them because they flow a lot better on the released track. But anyway, like, I, I don't want to start rambling too much. Uh, next time I will be re reviewing uh, Surfing USA and uh, then we're gonna move from there on. Uh, so, what do you think of Surfing Safari? Uh, do you love it? Do you hate it? Have you heard of it? Have you not listened to it in its full? Do you own it? Uh, in which formats? Obviously, that's relevant. And uh, if you like this, press the thumbs up and uh, subscribe and we'll see you again on the next one. Take care. Bye bye.